What's up guys and welcome back to Plants for Zombies Garden Warfare 2 and today we're going to be checking out the brand new Imp Legendary class that is a part of the brand new DLC, the Frontline Fighters DLC. If you don't know, there is a brand new DLC in the game and we've already shown off several videos worth of new content including unpacking the brand new pack, the Frontline Fighters pack and playing the character you see on screen right now which is the legendary Colonel Corn, the Commando Corn. We've shown off this character already in an episode earlier today but today we'll be playing the brand new legendary imp, the Scallywag Imp. Of course, like I said, he is legendary, best suited for close quarters. Scallywag Imp can unleash his yo-ho-ho -ho mode with fewer vanquishes than other legendary characters, but be careful, it doesn't last long. And as you can see, he even has a cool new mech. So that's very, very cool. We could mess with his you know, appearance, but I don't plan on it or his gestures or anything like that. But still, very, very cool. I'm super duper excited for it and hopefully you are too, because look at this, he really is close range, isn't he? Like, I mean, he can shoot far, but I'm guessing that close range will be a good benefit for him. But we finally have ourselves a legendary imp, which is very, very cool. So let's go ahead and get started playing him online. Okay, so we get this play right away on zombies. We're playing on an assault map where we are, of course, on the offensive. So I don't know how well this will work out, but we're gonna find out sooner or later. So might as well be now. So there's a Colonel Corn. Let's just see who we can beat up here. What kind of plants might be our victim? Yeah, let's see. The shot is definitely. Oh, there you go. That was good. Look at how much that does really fill the Oho Ho mode up a lot. So we definitely want to get nice and close. So let me fill this up or throw that up just like that. 90 damage. That's really good. I like it. Okay, this might be bad. Might be bad. Might be bad. But I dodged it. That was good. That was good. Oh, he's down for the count, though. Somebody else got him. Now let's run around too. This is a good start. This character looks so cool though. Like aesthetically, this might be my favorite imp yet. Cause he is really cool looking. Ooh, come on, get that maybe. Oh, the butter's coming down, so I gotta be careful. Let's try to do that. Oh, there we go, yo ho ho mode already. Holy cow, and we got the mech. We got the mech. No, please don't beat me up. Thank you. Whoa, this is looking a little weird now, ain't it? Um, So this shot is very weird. Come on, no, no, let me get up here. Let me get up here. Let me get up here. And then, what is this doing? Whoa, it shoots at a little mine. Okay, we got cluster cannons as our primary weapon. Um, oh, it's like, a, it's like a shotgun. Okay, let me keep spinning. What is this doing? I'm breaking it down. <laughs> I'm break dancing. Okay, well, that was weird. He seems very close range, like closer range than the little Drake, which is weird. For it's still really cool. Like I've said in a previous episode, he looks a lot like um, if you've played PvZ Heroes, there is a legendary card where it's an imp in like a super powered up Zomboss uh, ship, like a pirate ship. And it looks pretty similar to that. That's what it reminds me of. Let's go ahead and try to beat some of you guys up. Gotha Vanquish. So we really only need three Vanquishes to get this legendary mode going, but getting three Vanquishes might be tough at times. We've already have four of them. But of course, we only have 75 health as any other imp has, so we need to be careful. We need to be a little bit stealthy. We need to be hard to hit. And sometimes it's easier said than done. But 10 damage a shot isn't going to be impossible to do some, some of the things we want to do. The, the fire rate is pretty slow, though. Really, we want to focus on getting closer because if we can get closer, we can do more damage, and that'll be pretty nice. Let's wait here. And I'm going to be really hesitant on when I pull out this mech, I think. I mean, I want to be able to pull it out if I'm in like a bind where I might die, but... Beyond that, oh, come on. <laughs> Too much going on. But I'm not sure if it was just a matter of coincidence that the mech was ready when I got my legendary or if the legendary mode makes the mech instantly available. I think it might have just been the mech happened to be available because as you can see, it's almost ready already. So that's pretty good. But all right, looks like we've already captured this point, which is good. Good job, team, you are playing well, unlike me. But I can't wait just to, you know, level this character up. We'll be leveling up to level 10, just like we did the Commando Corn. And at the end of today's episode, we'll be opening ourselves up a, another piece of the uh, Frontline Fighters pack to hopefully get a piece of either the Necros or the Captain Squawks. That is, if we have 50,000 coins by the end of today's episode, which we should, that's not impossible. I mean, last episode, we started the episode off with 2,000 coins, we were still able to get them. I think this time, it won't be any different. Hmm. Hello, I'm seeing a lot more of the little scallywag here than we are in, uh, the new Colonel Corn. Like I've seen a few of the new Commando Corns, but not as many as the new Imps. So it looks like more people are maybe more excited for the new Imp or either just, just happen to have this one opposed to the other one. Come on, come on, pull out that mech. 
please? Yes, okay. This might work out well. It might not. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the mine. Ooh, 35, 35, 35. That was good, but I instantly just got like eight and alive. That was crazy. I was like, hey guys, bye guys. <laughs> well, let's try going down here maybe. And I mean, there isn't too many ways to work around here, but we'll try to make it work. Like if I sneak through this way, this might be the best choice for us. Captures Egypt. Wow, we got it already? Here, then let me respawn. Cause I haven't gotten anything done, I don't have any vanquish streaks, so might as well just respawn, pop up in front of everybody, and hopefully be able to stop them while they're retreating. Oh, that was good, I got an assist. Better than nothing, I can tell you that much. Oh boy, excuse me other imps, out of the way. So many imps, too little time. Not enough time for all these imps. Oh, come on, come on, ah, oh, just another assist. Not even a shared vanquish. Cruel game, that is just cruel. Okay, so this honestly might be a bit of a difficult map for him, especially this point. This point is usually pretty hectic and not a many places to hide. So, whoa. Okay, game. Calm it down, calm it down. I mean, a lot of people have been excited for this new DLC, so I'm not surprised that there are a lot of people playing, maybe bogging the servers down a little bit, but who knows. Let's actually, yeah, I probably should go from up here, because I think there was a Colonel Corn ready and waiting for me, huh? I'll show you what's what. I just can't wait to play the new, like the new Captain Deadbeard looks super cool because he's like super zoomed in, he's like super accurate, but I think it's just, you know, it's hard to keep that accuracy after that first shot. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, man, I couldn't even take care of you? You weren't even playing! Darn it. Oh well. Let's get back up. Try to get a level three scene. I think that this guy would be pretty good for some team vanquish, some closer range games, I think, where he doesn't have to travel so far to be vanquished. You know, I think that would work out pretty well with this imp. So like, I definitely want to see if we can't try a few games of Team Vanquish along with some other things, maybe even Vanquish Confirmed. There are people playing it. Sometimes there just aren't any people playing Vanquish Confirmed. Here. Even though it's like one of the best game modes in my opinion. I mean, it's like Team Vanquish, but you get more experience. <laughs> like that's really the difference. Let me sneak over here and let's revive you. That way I can just sort of get some free experience one way or another just in case things don't go my way. But I'm gonna spawn in this mech. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Let's just start uh, hopping in, and then as soon as I pop down here, break dance. Break dance it up. I've, I, I immediately vanquished some potted plants, but beyond that, like, not too much happens. We can get you, there you go. Throw that over there, throw that mine. Ooh, the mine's gonna explode. Ooh, that actually, whoa, that got her. That was cool looking. Oh darn, well, that's all we got. That was the new Necros, though, that we beat up. That's pretty cool. There's the Commando Corn. I'm all saying, where are the Commando Corns? They're too busy vanquishing me. That's what's happening, Zebra. Silly. But once we reach level five, we'll have a health regeneration delay upgrade, which I'm not sure how much that'll really help us as an imp, but it might be helpful, you never know. I'm liking how with the imp, since he does have so much less health than the average you know, variant, he does have an easier to level up. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Jeez, oh. how much health do you have, dude? Calm it down. There you go, we got you. He has an easier to get, you know, legendary meter. Let's yeah, give you, give me some help, please. <laughs> Come on now, heal me up, heal me up. I really appreciate it. I hope these guys don't notice me. I really hope, oh, mechs everywhere. Oh, he's one mech. Oh boy. Come on, hit him out of the air a little bit if I can. Oh geez, he's in his legendary mode. I think he is. Yeah, yeah, he definitely is. Oh no, not good, not good, not good. Come on, dance around. Oh, we got him, we got him. Oh jeez, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get you. Maybe, oh boy. Come on, I'm in my yo-ho-ho -ho mode, actually. Yo-ho-ho, yo-ho-ho. -ho. I've never been able to do a good pirate voice. Oh boy. Oh, I love the music though, it's very cool. Oh, he got me. Still, we got it again. I mean, it took us like most of the episode to get it in the Chrono Corn video. Luckily, we get it like almost immediately here. So that's nice. That's some. That's one thing off the list, son. I would like to get like a better, like, you know, like streak, I guess. Just like a better performance. Ooh, here's the new Captain Deadbeard. But I, I wanna get a better performance going on with the Mac because I really haven't done that. Oh, guess who just got caught? You got caught. Too bad I couldn't do anything about it because there's seven kabillion kernel coins. That set looks so ridiculous. You look ready to go. You're dancing up in the air. Stretching those, those quad muscles. Okay, this point's 
proving to be a little tough, but maybe if we go in with double mech, oh no, oh no, that's a Colonel Corn. Get him, get him, Ooh. oh, that, I couldn't do anything there. I did get the assist though, somehow. Oh, whoa, 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 was that a Necros that just attacked me? Excuse me, Necros? Party for two? Party for two. Oh boy, we did a little bit of, oh, he's shooting all over the place when he's doing that too. Okay, lag, lag city, lag city. Here, beat you up, beat you up. Got you, I'm probably going to die. Yep, I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, no, come on. Oh, the Rose got me with her stinking thing right at the last second I was gonna hop out. But the imp in general did get a bit of a boost, which if you guys don't know, it doesn't take as long for him to hop out of his mech now, which is gonna be a pretty good combo with this guy, I think. So, couldn't use it there because the Rose ruined me, but I could have used it and it would have been nice. And we lose, hello. <laughs> So we're on another assault map. Not bad, not bad. Apparently there have been some issues with the brand new map and that's why that hasn't been available just yet, but hopefully soon it will be and then we can enjoy that. I plan on having maybe like a whole video where we just analyze the map. Oh wow, wow, just barely saved there. Thank you to whoever helped me out there. Let's poke around at you a little bit if I can. The shot is definitely not easy to land, but you do get a little bit of a splash I think. Like I don't think it's exactly necessarily a direct hit. But once you get used to it, hi! I'm trying to shoot, trying to win the game. <laughs> Excuse me. There you go. All right, so let's get around here. Hello. <laughs> Everyone's saying hi. All right then, Uh, let's spawn in something. I, I rarely spawn stuff in. I don't mind doing it this time. I really hope that they do have the new Christmas, or the uh, the old Christmas stuff. You know, um, I, I feel like I'm, I think that I'm playing on Planty. <laughs> What team is Zebra on anyways? But um, I really hope they, they do add some of the Christmas stuff from Garden War for one into uh, Garden War for two for the Festivus stuff. Like I don't know if they're going to have something similar to the, that's sort of the thing like when I'm thinking about it, like Lawn of Doom had some stuff, right? Uh, it You know, you had to go and do stuff every single day to be able to get all the Halloween stuff. Thanksgiving had nothing. They didn't actually bring the food fight to Garden Warfare 2. It was in PBZ Heroes, it was in PBZ 2, but it wasn't in Garden Warfare 2. Instead, they just did the Gnomus Brothers, so I was interested in why that was, but maybe there was just too much time being put into this. Totally get it, but we also have Feast of Us, confirmed, is gonna be starting on the 13th of December, so I wonder if it'll be like Lawn of Doom, if it'll be any different. I'm not entirely sure yet. I really hope it's a little bit different, but still, you know, in some way, shape, or form, you know, the same style where we're doing things every day for new Feast of Us stuff. I, I'm guessing that the Feast of His stuff I got for buying the pack, I don't know if that's gonna be like all of the Feast of His customizables you can possibly get or not. I am not sure. There you go, somebody has revived me, thank you. <laughs> Did I burp? My reload has a burp noise. Oh, because we, do we eat? Wait, do we eat? You eat the guns. <laughs> That's sort of cute, sort of really weird. I love it. When you have that mixture, you know you're doing PVC right. Oh, no, you're an imp, you're fine, you're fine. So far we're doing pretty well. Shoot into there a little bit, get some damage where I can. This imp is definitely on. I wouldn't say this is exactly my type of imp. I really like imps, but it seems like you know this update is really liking single shot characters for the most part. I don't think the rose is gonna be, well I mean, the new kernel corn isn't single shot, but it's pretty darn close to him. That damage when you get up close though. Like 28, Oh man, that's pretty good. Yeah, this guy's missing me like crazy. There we go, we get him. We just need two more to get into our yo-ho-ho -ho mode. This guy's not paying attention to me. Whoa, he just like scooted into the ground. <laughs> come on, come on, dodge him up, dodge him up. Oh, I didn't get the vanquish though. And there I go. Just need one more, I would've gotten yo-ho-ho -ho mode. Oh well. But I, I wanna know what yo-ho-ho -ho mode's more like in the mech. Like, can we even earn it up in the mech? I'm pretty sure we can. Let's get in there and try to find out now, shouldn't we? Hmm. Try to get some of these guys. But I'm just like, you know, through the roof happy with this update. And I hope that you guys are too. Now that it's been out, I haven't seen anybody complain about it. Back before it, you know, came out and there was words that there was gonna be, you know, four new classes, like yesterday and the day before. Like everyone was sort of complaining and I was like, what? What's wrong with you guys? <laughs> that there was only going to be four characters in the new map. People wanted eight new characters, which is like, that's insane. Like I know that's what they did in Garden War for one, but you have to understand that Garden War for two at this point is a much bigger game. There's more to balance. It's like, you have to understand that like, you know, with every character that you need to make sure that they're balanced enough to work 
in conjunction with the rest of the game, and the game gets bigger and bigger with every update. You know, the game is much bigger than it was in Guard of War for one, so it's harder to add that kind of stuff. All right, let's try to uh, get this point a little bit. It looks like somebody's already doing a great job. They're not doing a great job of defending right now. Like, one person is taking the entire thing. I mean, it looks like they're all being distracted by imps. It seems like a lot of people are playing Colonel Corn and imps just because, you know, there is a new Colonel Corn and imp. To, so to celebrate, everyone's just enjoying whatever their favorite Colonel Corn or imp is. Like, I'm seeing a lot of those four. You know, not just new classes, but, you know, just those classes in general. Like, the Colonel Corn, imp, Rose, and Captain Deadbeard is what we're seeing most of out of everything. Can we get rid of this Goop Shroom real quick? Thank you, Goop Shroom. Thank you for getting out of my face. Get rid of this stuff. Get some free experience real quick. There you go. That's good, that's good. What are you guys doing around here still? You know what? Let's chuck that over there. Let's pull it or make this might be a really bad idea because there's like nobody around here and this thing does sort of move a little on the slow side because it's not a mech that sort of like, it doesn't float around or fly around, it walks. Which ain't bad, but it's also just like different. Come on, come on, give it to me. All right. Oh wow, okay, so the legendary meter actually is not available when you are in the max, so you cannot actually get it, I don't think. I'm guessing you can't. All right, that's an interesting choice. Hey, buddy, hey, buddy, I'm gonna break it down then. I'm gonna, if you're gonna try to hop over me, I'm gonna break it down. <laughs> that was funny, I love this mech, it's awesome, uh-oh. Yeah, don't let that fall on you. I think that can actually vanquish you, which would not be fun. It almost vanquished this rose. Now, let's get you when we can. Come on, there's two roses to get here. Get one of them at the least, there's one, there's a level five. Good, good, good. I still have 300 health, too. That's really good. Let's chuck that down there. Look at it go. I love that. It's like a really slow imp punt. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So it's sort of like a chili bean bomb. Hmm. Let's hop out of here quick, quick, quick. Yeah, that was sort of a bad situation. Get that over there. There you go. Now you're stuck there. Come on, get you, get you, get you. That was just an assist. I gravity grenaded you and got like four headshots on you. Just an assist. I feel like there have definitely been like less leniency towards shared languages recently. Don't know why, but that's how I feel about it. Maybe I just haven't been playing as well. Totally it could be the case, even though I haven't been playing a lot of Garden Warfare today, I mean, recently, like these last few weeks, because I had to earn up like a lot of coins for the Thanksgiving rucks, because that had some cool items, and then a lot of coins to earn up the one million for earlier today's spending spree, like a lot of stuff going on there. Let's get over here. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> Sir, how dare you? But that's why we're at our promotion 23 so quickly. We went to like 21 to 23 real quick. So I'm pretty happy about that. Let's see if we can't get over here though. And I know that recently a lot of people have been posting about, there has been a what's it called recently. Um, you know how this is gargle barble. There is a loading screen tip that says, no winters complete without a gargle bargle tournament. So I'm guessing that whatever gargle bargle is, which is really, it was just hitting targets, right? Maybe there'll be another target hitting related mini game coming out and it will be something Feast of Us related. Like that would be pretty cool to have a gargle bargle tournament. I wanna have that. Okay, Rose, you're getting out of here. Ooh, we destroyed you good there. Let's damage you up since you're not looking at me. Hmm. Oh my. Just check that down there. That's gonna land on somebody, right? Yes, it will, yes, it will. Oh, getting all of the gravity grenades assists. All of them. Every single one of them. Oh, got you, that was good, that was good. Oh boy, who's chasing me right now? Who is chasing me? I'm gonna wait around here. I think this might be a good spot to hide out for a few moments, maybe not. How is that just four damage? Okay. No, 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 okay. Just an assist. I don't get it. <laughs> what more do you want me to do, game? Let's get in this pick. I love he'll just jump in from port side or whatever. I don't know if that's port side or not, actually, to be honest with you. Here, got that. Now I need to shoot this. Please shoot this, shoot this. Oh, got it. There you go. I'm super low. Darn, they destroyed me. If I could hop out of the mech though, you know, early enough, I could make it explode on people and then that would do some good damage. Is the teleporter up? I really hope it's up. It does not. Wah, wah. So out of the two new legendaries, which one is your favorite? If you have a choice between the two. I do have to lean a little more towards the Colonel Corn just because I am a total, you know, bias towards Colonel Corns. I love them so much. Let's respawn and get a little closer because I already took this point so we can just start from here. 
It'll be a little bit easier for us, save us a little bit of time. There are plants everywhere, but I'm not doing a good job of getting them, so I'm just gonna keep walking, if the lag will let me. I feel like my internet's been really bad recently. I don't know what it is. It's like, I pay good money for good internet, and then they just stop caring. Oh, wow, oh, 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 gosh. That's a horror movie right there. <laughs> he, just, he was just waiting for me. Jeez, and he's, my friend's not even gonna revive me. We fall in together, and then you leave me in the dust. Not good, not good at all. I definitely think I'll enjoy this guy more in Team Vanquish, though. Like, I think he's a pretty cool class as is, but I think that, you know, like how Team Vanquish and those kind of maps are designed, I think it could work out a little bit better for us, so we will try that after this game, and you know, see how things go. See how things go indeed. Let's, you know what, I'll spawn something in. Anything to help us get through this game quicker would be good, because I think if we do win, it's gonna be a slow win, and that might not be so great. Oh boy, wait here. Wait here indeed. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. No, get out of here, please. Oh, he might get me, yep, he still got me. I just, I don't know, I don't think I have my imp game going on today. I mean, I just recently leveled up my little Drake, and honestly, that was pretty difficult for me. I feel like I've mastered, yeah, I've definitely mastered out most of the characters I'm, jeez, most of the characters I'm best with. Hello. Um, Such as the, uh, you know, like the uh, Z7 imp and the normal imp are two of the imps I'm best with. And I've already mastered them out, so I don't really play them too much. And of course the shrimp imp. I was actually pretty darn good with the shrimp imp towards the end of it there. Ooh, come on, come on, can I at least get you? Can I at least get you? Ah, oh, I'm having such a hard time with it. Like, the idea of a close range imp makes sense because if you're you know good with the imp, you can really make it work. But if you're just okay with the imp like I am, it's a hard time at times. Like, it's really tough just because I just don't know what I'm gonna be able to do to get some of these vanquishes. So I just keep on getting beat up, especially in Turf Taker. I feel like it's better when everybody's sort of scrambled, but everybody, you know, positioning is super important in Turf Takeover, so I just don't feel like he works well with Turf Takeover. Not a bad thing, not a good thing, it's just a thing. All right, so I do have my mech, I'm just waiting for a good opportunity to use it, because I, I gotta be able to get close to the point. Like, I don't wanna like have the mech, like, I'm here, guys, and then just instantly die halfway across the bridge. That doesn't sound like fun. So I might try to sneak into here and, and then spawn in. Can I not spawn in under the bridge? Oh, that stinks. That stinking so it's like, why is that even there then, you know? <laughs> okay, we're going, we're going. Break that out of the way, throw that over there, start break dancing. And with this, you can really take care of a lot of the plant pots super easy, which I really like. Like that's, it does destroy the point really well. And like, if anything, that's probably his biggest perk to play him in Turf Takeover, is you can instantly destroy everybody's plant pots, not have to worry about it. But that's also a perk you could use in Gnome Bomb or Suburbanation. Well, I don't know if you can place plant pots in Suburbanation, but in Gnome Bomb for sure. So definitely try playing them there, see what your luck is. Hmm. But we're halfway through this point, so hopefully we can get it. More importantly, I'm almost at level six, and that'll be good. We should be able to get promotion 24 pretty soon, though, for you know getting all these new characters. I'm glad that, you know, the hard part of getting most of these new characters is already done for me. Like, I already got the two new legendaries, and then, you know, I'm only one sticker piece away from both of the new characters. Oh, I'm getting a revive. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for the support and the help. I truly appreciate it. Oh, ow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ow, my face, I'm dead again. All right, let's just get back up from here. Oh man, I hate this long walk. It's like, that's the worst. It's just a long walk all the way back. Okay, this guy's like legendary mode. So I'll either be really nice to vanquish him or be really stinky to get vanquished by him. Okay, I got the assist, that's something. Already back down to 20 health, which is just grand. Just grand indeed. I'm just gonna wait here for a little bit. I sort of let things pass. I feel like there's a lot of action happening above me right now. I feel like a little troll under the bridge. Really what I was there for a moment. Oh, come on, come on, come on. The sunflower like doesn't even realize I'm shooting at her. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on, I'm gonna be sneaky. Get rid of that. And then get you, get you, get you, get you. I at least contributed to getting that point. That's good. All right, I wish I'd get some heals, but at the same time, I'm not too low right now. Oh boy, no, 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 no. Come on, oh. I just can't get anything done, though. Like, I just think it's not my imp. Like, not the imp for me. It's not a bad class, like, don't get me wrong. It's a really cool looking class. It's got some cool things to it that I do like a lot. 
I just think that this kind of gameplay style isn't always my kind of gameplay style, and that's why I'm dying a whole big bunch. Like, I'm dying so many times. Like, I think I've died more than I've gotten vanquished so far, which is not really something that happens to me incredibly often. Wait, with the Commando Corn, like, we got like a 10 vanquish streak at some point. We were doing pretty decent. Throw that over there. And then, oh, now we can get you. Now we can get you. And we started off super well. But I feel like lag might be contributing to him. Either way, I'm not trying to complain. I'm happy with the character. I'm happy we have him. He's a new, awesome addition to the Garden Warfare family. All right. So, I want to just be sneaky about it. Like, that's sort of a big thing is that I definitely need to be sneaky about it. It's just, it's hard to be sneaky on a map like this. You know, like, pirates sort of stand out like a sore thumb in, you know, a frozen cold tundra map. Come on, get him to circle around him. Come on, okay, we got him. Apparently, the other person got the actual vanquish, which is his total malarkey. Okay, this is our time to be sneaky. Apparently not, apparently not, apparently not. Oh my gosh, we just got like instantly destroyed. Come on, get out of this thing, get out of this thing. It's a death trap at this point. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just everybody can just see my player reticle and just destroy me, so. This isn't working out so well. I'm just gonna get over here and just start break dancing on this point and capture it as much as I possibly can. I have one health, so I might as well just, you know, go in and do whatever I need to do. Just making a mission. Just be risky and crazy. We are still doing a decent job of getting the point there. Oh boy. Well, that is a good den in it, if not anything else. His eyes were all circling around because we only need like two thirds of it. Yeah, that was a little more than one third, but not as much as one half. One of you know, fractions. Oh, it's flying, it's flying. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, okay, we did okay, we did okay. I do have to say it is pretty cool that we have every single kernel corn and every single imp at this point. You know, like that feels pretty nice. I mean, I almost have every single character. You know, we just need these two other new characters, we need some party classes, and we need the legendary Iron Sister. And besides that, I have everything. So that's pretty cool. And I'm glad that, you know, like, with the Breakfast Brains and the Toxic Citron, when they came out, I got the Toxic Citron relatively soon. No, no, I got the Breakfast Brains first. Breakfast Brains was really tough to get, and then the Toxic Citron was even tougher to get from me. Like, I had a really bad luck with those ones, but these ones, not so much. I've been having great luck so far, especially since you can get two of the legendary characters right off the bat. I mean, I definitely feel like that makes it weird, because it's like, I feel like most people are gonna opt into buying the, the pack and just getting the legendary characters right off the bat. I definitely need to use this, this mech again. Try to get in there and just sort of clear out the point. Because this R1 move definitely clears out the point pretty well. It looks like they're about to get it though, so maybe I just want to wait for them to get it done. Yep, they got it. So I'm just gonna keep walking, I'm gonna keep running. Ow, I'm being destroyed. Bad idea. Bad ideas. This is probably the dumbest idea, because I'm just spawning it in right in front of them. But nobody cared. Okay. And I'm just now I'm just gonna slowly walk. Cause this is this is such a shotgun kind of thing. It's like, I mean really it is like the Captain Dead Beards you know, normal, non-zoomed in. Like, I can zoom in. Oh wait, oh, I can zoom in and get some, like, cannon lobbing. Okay, so it really is like a Captain Deadbeard. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, I'll we'll try to get over there a little bit. Didn't entirely work. Let's go for this, let's go for this. Come on, come on, I gotta reload. Oh, it takes forever to reload. Come on, there you go, that was good, that was good. Oh boy, oh boy indeed. Where are you at? Oh, no you don't. Don't you be taunting at me! Man, that direct shot though, does so much damage. He was just like, accepting the pain there. Don't know what was with that. Oh man, that direct shot though, when you can land it. It's like you're lobbing a cannonball at him. What do you know? Okay, we got that vanquish sort of, kind of. And then I'm gonna throw that over there, just like that. Start break dancing. I can't break dance, I got impeached. Okay, I'm out of here. I can't, I'm still impeached. <laughs> it took so long. The longest the impeach of all time. Citrons really don't like this imp. <laughs> I can tell you that much. At least we got a decent chunk of experience there. That was nice. Let's um, hop up here. This is a little bit of a shortcut. And then I want to get my revenge on you, so try to shoot away at you now. Hmm. Let's sneak on over here. Throw that over. Boom. I got him. I got him. Here, finish him off. Finish him off. Okay. I got the assist. I got a double gravity grenade assist, so. That was almost like a vanquish, right? No? Okay. Oh, come on, come on, get get her when she pops out. Oh my gosh, wow, the lag, come on. 
Oh, jeez. Okay, I feel like I haven't been playing well, which is like today of all days. Why am I not playing well? I need to play well. To show off the cool characters and to look cool. You know, I like looking cool, right? Who doesn't? There you go, there's a double vanquish. That's pretty cool, ain't it? Ow. <laughs> well, there goes all the coolness. Luckily, I got cool people like this reviving me. Thank you. Hmm. Now, let's go over to point B here, and I think we could probably get it from point B. We got the level seven. I wasn't expecting to get super far with the levels, but you know, level seven is pretty decent. We got all the way to level eight with the, the kernel corn, though. Can we get you maybe? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Ooh. I'd really, oh, there we go, there's Yo-Ho-Ho. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yo-Ho-Ho, oh, no, no, is more like it. Oh, man, I like the music. But I am like, can't see a darn thing. There's just like explosions everywhere. This is Yo-Ho-Ho, oh, no, no. I almost ran in the potato mines as soon as I get the legendary mode. What a stunk. I know, the melt in the ice. I got like no experience during that legendary mode though. Well, that didn't work out too well. Because reviving really, really helps with a legendary class because you don't lose all of your legendary stuff. So definitely want to keep that in mind as much as I possibly can. Get that stuff over there. Throw that over there. Oh yeah, where do you think you're going, Rose? Where do you think you are going? Gotcha, gotcha. No, 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 I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here, I need to get out of here. Oh boy, go into mech, 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 I'm so dead. Oh, no I'm not. <laughs> awesome, here, lob that over there and start breaking it down with this. Ooh, that 30 damage landed, got you. That's actually pretty nice, but I'm getting destroyed right now. Ooh, where are you going? Where are you going? Reload now, reload now, and then get you. That was good. Reload again, reload again. Don't husk up me, or shuck shot, or something. I'm gonna hop out now, because this is gonna get real risky real fast. Okay, he doesn't know where I am, because I am sneaking up overhead. Oh, he found me, he found me. Will he impeach me? Oh, you ran out of time. So sorry, buddy, try again next time. Did we, did he win? Oh, yeah, okay, they won that time. He's breaking it down. All right then, so we're in some vanquish confirmed right now. Looks like we're joining right in the middle of the game. It was 25 to 25, and there's actually people in here. We are grossly outnumbered, but besides that, there's actually people in here. That's pretty cool. So you don't notice me. So what I'm gonna do is boom, 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 gotcha. Oh, I gotta get the orb, gotta get the orb. No, wait, <laughs> I saw it at the last second. But at least I got the orb, I secured the, the vanquish. That's what you gotta do, you gotta confirm it. And I confirmed it. Let's see, I think this might be better for this. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but I think a close range battle might be just, you know, better for him. He has tons more stuff to hide behind and maneuver around now. And of course, more teammates, more scattered enemies, you know. Like I said before, you know, Assault, Herbal Assault, and Guards of Graveyards, or Turf Takeover, it all is about positioning. But this is sort of not, because everybody's sort of, you know, going in at different places, it's all super scrambled. I Now that I figured out that this guy has range too, like he's become way better. All right, let's get rid of that. Pick up this orb, and then, okay, you got that. I can help attack this guy. The, the Citrons are a big target, so definitely helpful to be able to do that. Oh, no, that's mine. That's my start break dancing. I gotta just start break dancing like a crazy maniac. There you go, that was good. Give me that orb. Man, we are much bigger than the other mechs though. Like these other mechs are so tiny, Gavad does. A tiny little mech. I shall squ squish you with my pirate blast. <laughs> Luckily, mechs don't have to take on other mechs, even though a mech battle would be really darn cool. Hey guys, how are you, how are you? Uh, let's try to get you a little bit. Just contribute to that vanquish as much as I can. Oh my gosh, there's people everywhere over here. Just snag some of them maybe? Okay, I snagged the sunflower. Snag the sunflower and the rose. Oh geez, trying to get some orbs. It's not really working. Come on, give me this orb, yes! Oh, just barely, just barely got that. Okay, 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 this is scary. All kinds of scary. No, don't find me, please. Don't find me, because if I could just vanquish you, that would be a yo-ho-ho -ho mode. Ah, oh, there's just too many citrons. Too many of them. We're doing pretty decent for hopping in the middle of the game, but that's gonna be it for this one. If we can continue that though, we can get some good stuff done in the next round. Oh my gosh, we're on the new map. I didn't see what it was called. 
Whoa, what is this thing? It's a house eater. So it is a new, okay, I thought it was a new turf takeover map. So is this, oh, this is a, okay, so this is, the, you know, the smaller version of basically Zimbabwe, or not Zimburbia. Okay, so this is, oh, this map is telling the story, I'm guessing, of how Dr. Zombos turned it into Zimburbia. <laughs> Look at this ball of zombie clothes. That's what they used to knock down the door. Holy cow. Oh, I get it. So this was the protected law, law, the protected wall of suburbia, or suburbia. And what happened is that he made a laundry ball, rolled it down and broke down the wall that way. And that's what made it, you know, made it open. Then the zombies broke in and turned it into Zimbopolis. That's how the story goes. Wow. Okay, so now we know the story behind suburbia. Well, yeah, suburbia, not Zimbopolis. Mopolis is a whole different story. But yeah, I mean, of course, the whole premise of the plot of Garden Warfare 2 is that the zombies have now taken over. The zombies have won at this point, is, you know, up to the plants to re win. Because, you know, of course, in Garden Warfare 1, the plants were sort of leading the fight, I guess you could say. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Got it. I was getting a little low there, so I'm glad I was able to pop back out. Can you get out of here, buddy? Can you, can you maybe hold off? Okay, we got that as much as I possibly can. Let's start breakdancing. I got it. Just one in doubt, breakdance it out. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, get that orb, guys. Get that orb. This is so cool. This is so very cool. Let me get that orb before you do. Oh, oh. Hey, don't you be throwing those potato mines. I've already learned my lesson with these darn potato mines. <sighs> you darn stinker. Oh. Get that there. Okay, okay. Come on, can I just take care of one person, maybe? Maybe multiple? Did I get the orb? I don't think I did. I think his uh, pea shooter friend picked it up, but hey, that's fine with me. This is such a cool map, so we're able to check out the new map now. Very, very cool. Wow. I love the green to, whoa, there's a can in here. Oh, and I guess, like, I love that. Coming soon, Zimburbia. I just love this so much. And okay, we can launch ourselves over here. I'm guessing you launch zombies into it and everything. That is so cool. Like, I can't even describe how stinking awesome that is. Oh man, oh boy, oh boy, hey, 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 you stop it. I'm trying to stargaze here, and you're beating me up. I don't appreciate that. Oh, he got me good. He got me stinking good there. He had to be low, 21%. I could have done it, but I, I still got the vanquish somehow. Will you find me? I'm gonna keep walking. Not surprised, not surprised. If we get one more level, we will get another character upgrade, which would be nice. And it looks like they had another launchy ball waiting. Well, they got so much, so much, what does that say? Feed the, this machine, your undies are ammo. Wow, okay. Oh boy, oh boy, come on, get this. Uh, trying to get him, trying to get him, trying to get him. Break dancing, break dancing. Oh, the break dance got canceled. I hate it when it does that. Like it just does that for no reason. Come on, he's so low. Gotcha. That's the times two. Okay, well, that's it. <laughs> I'm trying to get like a better Vanquish Street going on, but it's really tough with this imp. Like, I mean, I feel like it's just the shots are hard to land, of course, from a distance, and they don't do that much damage from a distance, so you really want to be able to get in there close. But that's where complications start occurring, because you can't really get in too close with an imp. Like, that's fundamentally the issue. This is cool, what does that say? Suburbanatron 3000. Cool. And then enjoy that new home smell of rotting I don't know, socks, rotting socks. I don't think socks rot, but they wouldn't be very nice socks. I can tell you that much because, I mean, this whole place has to stink like really bad, like dirty zombie laundry. That is not a good scent. Let's pick up that. You can tell a lot of this is pretty similar to the Backyard Battlegrounds, at least. It looks pretty, you know, similar to it. There you go, I got a few of those orbs. We got you over here. I'm gonna spawn in the mech now. Now's a good time, now's a good time. No, it's not. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Just all of a sudden, a bunch of plants out of nowhere. Well, I like all the, I see a lot of crazy Dave signs everywhere. I want to be able to read those a little bit more. Hmm, what's going on over here? Oh, this is like a, one of the little forts. Ah, okay. Can I get up here? Whoa, whoa, whoa! There goes one, they just launched one. That was crazy. That's so cool. Man, this map is awesome. Okay, well, we're heading on in. Hello. So I see some plants down here, right? It looks like at 25 more orders, the victories will be zombies. We are winning, so that's good. Ooh. 
as soon as he lands, I'll start beating him up. Oh jeez, where'd he go? He like kicked him out of nowhere. I have no idea where he went. Is he over here now? This is one fast, oh! Oh man, that kind of turned out bad. That was one fast pea shooter. He was just all over the place. My mech is already available again. I am stuck. What does this say? Send your undies over. So that's, this is crazy. So it looks like they're, they're having an undies war. They're literally having a laundry war. See, we can do it. Roll up your sleeves. So they're both sending laundry over to each other. Man, I guess Zomboss, this is where Zomboss won though. They, we lost the launch one. Because plants don't even sink and have laundry. Of course they ain't gonna win that one. Oh. Come on now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. Try to get rid of some of these if I can here. Let's just do that. And then I'm gonna break down. So you pop out of that dirt. See what happens, dude. See what stinking happens. Come on, get you. Come on, one more, one more. There you go, get both of those orbs. And then there's a cactus over here. Oh, that's a nice pool. Like this is like, these are nice grade A homes. I would definitely wouldn't mind living in a nice green lush place like this if there weren't mutant plants and evil zombies attacking. I mean, if this was just everyday world, I would totally live somewhere like this. This is super nice. Okay, well, whoa, what is this? Is this an underground cave over here? Oh my. It looks like they did dig their way through. Oh, this is cool. We have half of our sail power left. Oh, and here's a part of the bathroom. So this is like the concert area. Cool. Hmm. Let's try to get you a little bit. That 40 damage is so good. So darn good. This, this episode is definitely longer than the Commando Corn one. I'll tell you that much. Whoa, where'd he go? Oh, did he go through the cannon? Dude, stop going through the cannon. That's my job. <laughs> All right, we're gonna chase him wherever he went. Ooh, boy, this might've been a mistake. There's a chopper waiting for me. Come on, get him, got him. Nice. Okay, I would revive you, but I just don't think this is a good situation to be in. Oh, for sale. Jay Shuffle sold. Cool, so they were selling the property to other zombies. You would think they would just give them to him, whoever like is the best zombie. But I guess even some um, Zomboss likes money. Oh. You know, there's not much use for money in an apocalypse, right? I wouldn't think. Hmm. Well, it looks like we are gonna pull in the win with this one. We got way more vanquishes in them. I'm just trying to get to our level nine which is definitely easier said than done right now. Okay, this is not good. I need to beat up this Chronicorn because I know he's low. Okay, I didn't get him, apparently. Ooh, I got that orb though, that was nice. Easy orb, easy orb. Ooh, you are going down again. If I can vanquish anybody, it's at least these choppers, right? <laughs> Come on, oh no, never mind, never mind. I revert all my statements. I revert all my statements, oh no. <laughs> oh, not good. I'm probably gonna earn up, after this one, I'm probably gonna earn up the last of the levels on the in the backyard, just because you know this is taking quite a while, and I do need to edit these videos and post them for you guys to see. You know, I figured, oh, it'd be so much easier if I just recorded them all at once, and then edited them, posted them. But I need to be able to post them very soon, so I'm probably gonna just do it in the backyard to speed up time, because that would be a little bit faster. Let's get over here. And where are you, sir? Oh, you're up here. Don't you roll away from me. You get back here. Oh, will that land on him? Yes, it will. Nice, nice, nice. Boom. Oh, come on. You stinkers. Taking all my glory. <laughs> Either way, that was still such a cool map. I'm really glad we had the chance to enjoy and explore that in today's episode. But there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and get the level 10 ourselves back at the backyard, and then we will buy ourselves another pack. But that's it for now. All right then, so here's our level 10 with the Scallywag Imp. Very, very cool class. I don't think he's for me at the end of the day. I mean, I feel like I've blabbed a lot about him. It's been a long episode just because it was a hard time for me to actually get him to level 10. So I'm glad that we were able to do it by the end of the day. But there's yet another legendary and yet another Imp class shown off, which is very, very cool. Now we have a little or a good chunk over 50,000 coins. So of course, we're gonna go ahead and open ourselves up a northern Frontline, I always keep forgetting the name. Frontline Fighters Pack to see if we can't get either the brand new Captain Deadbeard or Rose. Let's find out, please, please. 
Oh, come on, it paused for a moment to lead me on. We are so stinking close, but we got this Silver Tribal set, the Hypno Shroom, the Ancient Sciences set, the Space Doubt set, and the Chivalry set. Actually, it was pretty darn cool, I like that. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this point in the video, make sure you comment Scallywag Zebra, so I know you've watched in the video, and I you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. By the way, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.